Hello and welcome everyone to this Smoke Control Systems Design course. In this course, I'm going to help you learn and master how to design, how to completely design a smoke control system for a variety of applications. The core value of this course is that I'm explaining everything on every information I'm saying is quoted and organized from the related international codes and standards, including but not limited to NFBA, which stands for the National Fire Protection Association, and ASHRI, which stands for American Society of Heat, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning, and ICC, which stands for the International Code Council, and the SFP, which stands for the Society of Fire Protection Engineers. This course consists mainly of six parts. The first part is a brief and detailed introduction to the smoke control systems in general, and the second part is discussing in detail the staircase pressurization and the application and calculation and the types and the classification and covering everything related to the staircase pressurization. And part number three is covering in full detail the atrium smoke management systems, how to design it, uh, how to understand the types and the limitations. And part number four is covering the parking smoke control system. Uh, in part number four, I'll be covering also uh, a brief uh, yet detailed introduction onto the jet fan and how to design a jet fan in a parking ventilation system. And in part number five, I'm going to cover in full detail the natural smoke heat exhaust venting. While in part six, which is the last part of the course, I'm going to discuss the importance of dampers in life safety applications. Also, this course is supported by uh, examples on each of these parts. You will find example on each part starting from part 2 up until part 5. So after I finish the staircase pressurization chapter, I will give you a solved example on how to design a staircase pressurization system. And after I finish part 3, which is the atrium smoke management, I'm going to give you a solved example on the calculations uh, regarding the atrium smoke management system. After I finish part 4, I'm going to also give you a solved example on the parking uh, ventilation system in, uh, during a fire scenario. And on part 5, I'm going to give you a solved example on the natural smoke heat vent sizing and calculation. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. 